I don't. There we go. So, got this stuff here. Got this side of all part of that pretty good now. This thing was bloody seized. There's a lot of dirt, bit of dirt in this button. Couldn't turn the bloody thing. So I've got a little silicon spade. Good for a little switching, uh, maybe a scaryac project or something, switching um, current. It's good for 15 amp, 50 volt, 15 amp. Not bad. It is cheaply made there, so we'll see how long it lasts. So that's given there to a load. High and low settings on this side. This is a load side. And supply comes in here by the looks of it. A active, B. Come on, you said a bloody SD card now again. Stupid thing does that, bloody thing. Might be buggering up this camera. It's interesting how this um, uh, heater actually works because part of these tiles in between are like, would actually get hot. Heat is evenly distributed through this coil. Pretty interesting design. They remind me of actually, they actually remind me of posture tiles. So the camera goes through here, shorts out to that, between these two on one of the settings for low. And these tiles in between are what get hot from the um, the load of the current going through them. Then these evenly dissipate the heat. And you hook these out of tool up for the whole set from the water warm up. Pretty interesting uh, technology. You see a lot of new heaters with this sort of these sort of heading in them at the design. I wonder if these are actually parachute tiles of some sort. They look like they look like it. They're not made of metal, they're made of something. There's really a strong heat sink and heat sink that hold it all together. Some burnt spots. Doesn't smell anymore, so it's been cleaned up pretty good. No dog piss on this. Interesting. Interesting heat, uh, heating element design. Hmm, what is a lot of research into this? I wonder if they're a top of Pelshire tile. And is there a way that I can make it put cold instead of heat? That'd be cool. If you can make this thing somehow put out cold, like a Pelshire tile would, this would be a good refrigerant coil for cooling. How cool would that be? Reverse cycle one of these. But I doubt it, they would be different to a Pelshire tile. This only just produces heat. It'd be pretty cool if it did produce cool though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen little tiles in there. There we go. Make a good ballast either way. Pretty cool. That's the thing off the road, I just pulled it off. Nice little coupling of that. Heavy duty rubber. A metal rod and some of those little uh, silver cellophane as a reflectors. There's a switch. 250 volt AC 15 amp. Look at actives in there, go onto the load. Active from the supply, goes in here. And it looks like it comes out and jumps into here as well. Then we get our high and low setting, I think that is. Pretty sure it's how it wires up. Just switches the active side. Then your neutral obviously goes in the middle. And it's switched. Might be just for something else sort of together. Maybe changing the speed of a motor or something. We'll hook it up in a series or one of the, uh, an old PowerPoint, just make a little uh, variable current or something. <laughs> Gee, we poker a unit with it. Conveniently comes apart too. I can bolt it into a custom cabinet. Not bad for something so cheap and basic. It's got a 15 net rating on it. Pretty cool. Hmm. Put the uh, hook it up to the jiggly poker unit and make a universal um, speed controller out of things. That'll be interesting to try. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.